Hello everyone, I'm Rob with ScrappyDoo.com and this is going to be a short little tutorial on how to utilize uh, utilize the SVG, you know, create your own image kind of thing and import it into uh, the SCAL software, the Sure Cuts a Lot software. It's, it's uh, very easy to do. Uh, we've been getting a lot of questions on how to do this. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, you're going to need a couple things first. Uh, you're going to need your image, a digital copy of the image that you're, uh, that you're wanting. And uh, this right here, I just got the little cricket bug uh, that, I, uh, that I got from you know, a little avatar. So uh, you, you have that. The next thing you need is a program that will convert this, uh, this GIF or JPEG or bitmap, whatever image it is, into uh, an SVG file. So, uh, because that's that's what uh, the SCAL software recognizes, is those uh, those vector formatted files. So let's go ahead and uh, use Inkscape, which is free. I'll put a link in the sidebar or uh, wherever this video is being displayed. And uh, so let's go ahead and get get Inkscape open. Uh, once you're in Inkscape, uh, I'm currently on the Mac. I, it is for PC as well. You're going to go up to File and you're going to go ahead and Import. And uh, well, once that happens, we're going to go down to uh, the desktop, and uh, which is where I happen to have the file, and we're going to hit open. And uh, once you, once you see this, um, you, you'll see all these arrows. All it is is uh, shrinking, resizing. Don't matter. It doesn't matter what uh, what size you pick. Uh, w once you get into the shortcuts lot software, you can resize it there. What you're going to need to do next is make sure that that box is uh, is around that object that you're trying to uh, to vectorize, and you're going to go to Path uh, Trace Bitmap. And once you do that, a new box will appear, and uh, you're going to want to hit Update, and you're going to hit OK, and uh, you'll uh, notice that you'll have looks like two bugs. You'll want to separate those and you'll, you'll notice how much cleaner uh, uh, the one on top was compared to the bottom file uh, which is what you need. So go ahead and delete the bottom file. Uh, it doesn't matter where you move this uh, move this photo. All you have to do is hit file, uh, save as and we're going to save it to the desktop and I'm just going to name it the generic drawing.svg and go ahead and hit save. All right, so now we're done with Inkscape. Uh, so you can see how hard that is. And then we're going to go ahead and open up Shortcuts a lot. And to import it into here, all you have to do is go to File, Import SVG, and then we're going to look for the uh, our drawing SVG and hit Open. And as you can see, uh, even though we had a big size on the uh, on the Inkscape, it still shrunk it down. And you can increase, decrease the size to whatever you're liking. And once you are finished, you go ahead and hit the cut, and it is done. Well, uh, that does it for this uh, this tutorial. If you are uh, interested in more, go ahead and uh, keep on coming to the site, or you can check out the YouTube channel. And uh, also, if you're interested in the Sure Cuts a Lot software, you can go ahead and go to our website, scrappydoo.com, and we are, uh, you can purchase it through us, and uh, it sort of gives us a little kudos, you know. So, uh, with that, I'm Rob with scrappydoo.com, and I will see you next time.